another tutorial. My name is Henry Bakshi and this time we're going to be going over how you can control a Parrot AR Drone 2.0 using a Raspberry Pi, uh, the IoT platform, uh, the IBM IoT platform, and Watson. Uh, so let's begin. Now first of all, again, this is actually a part two in my series if you've already seen my other drone video which shows you a quick demo of how you can control a Parrot AR Drone 2.0 with Twilio, then this is the sequel to that I guess you could call it. Uh, and this time I'm joined with my, I, my mentor from IBM, Marcus Van Kempen. Thank you, uh, Tammy. So, <laughs> okay, uh, do you want to go through the scenario which we came up today? All right, sure, let's okay. begin. Okay, so this is the scenario we basically did today. Mm -hmm. And uh, as Tanmay said, like we used the Raspberry Pi and we hooked this guy up to the drone and to the internet. Mm -hmm. And then we used some MQTT messaging to uh, the Watson internet uh, platform. And uh, then we used Load Red to, for orchestration. And then Tanmay actually took all this information and created this nice dashboard from the, 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 the telemetry data from the, the drone. Yes. Right. Uh, and also, just in case you were wondering, uh, since the AR drone uh, actually creates a Wi-Fi network uh, to control your drone with instead of just using, uh, like for example, Bluetooth, like most drones do, uh, in, in fact, we've actually used our Raspberry Pi and we've added another network interface to it. Since the Raspberry Pi 3s, they already have one Wi-Fi uh, sort of uh, uh, dry or Wi-Fi, uh, what do you call those? Wi-Fi. Uh, yeah, those Wi-Fi Wi -Fi network. Uh, Wi-Fi networks installed into them already. So let them show uh, but, yeah. Yeah, uh, and so we all have, we have put in another one by USB, all right? Yeah. Uh, and so this allows us to connect to the drone and the internet at the same time. Uh, and that's our Pi over there. So here so you... as you can see, uh, we've SSH'd into the Pi, uh, and these are our two IP addresses. First one, we're connected to the IBM guest Wi-Fi because, well, I'm recording at the IBM Bloor office again. Uh, and so uh, also we have another IP address for the drone, uh, yeah. which, yeah. So, we are so these, that. these are the two IP addresses yes. we have here. And then we wrote this little, little program, which uh, is basically pulling every two seconds or so uh, the, the data from the drone. And uh, we just print out the message here. And then it pulls it, it basically shoots it into, into here, into Node Red. Mm -hmm. And here we see these messages coming in. And then what we did is uh, we basically take those messages apart and um, we then put them on this, uh, on this dashboard, which uh, sometimes crashes. Um, and we should see here that the data, the data which comes in from the drone, which of course, here we go. Yeah, there we go. So here you can see the battery level. We can see some of the telemetry data. Uh, we had some issues with the pictures at the moment, and then Tanmay created this um, this control panel. Come on, <laughs> this control panel here, which uh, which will allow us to actually start and land and maybe rotate the drone if we're lucky. So yes. Tame, you, why don't you try All to right. do this? All right, that is if the UI loads, <laughs> uh, if the dashboard loads. Uh, so, you know what, uh, we, or never mind, it decided to load. All right, let's begin. Let's, now, do one, let's do one thing, like why don't you click a land and we show them the flow coming back from yeah, the dashboard. Sure. Yeah. Uh, so now, if we click on the land button here, what's gonna happen is if you go over back to the place where we were SSHing into our Pi, uh, so first of all, the message comes in here from the from the yeah. from the uh, drone or from the dashboard. We basically shoot this to the drone, and if we go to the as Sunday said, if we go here to the. Uh, the SSH shell, the Telnet shell. Exactly. As you can see, it has given the action to land. And if the drone were flying, it would have landed. So now we're going to do this for real. Exactly. Go ahead. So uh, now if we can also focus on the drone as well. Uh, so now, as you can see, I'm going to click on take off now. And right as I do that, oops, we have, hopefully, at least, did you click it? Yes, yes I did. Yeah, there you go. All right, take off. There's a so slight take, delay. Take off. All right, so now as you can see, the drone has taken off and I'm going to rotate it clockwise. And I've clicked the button, sometimes there's a small delay. Uh, yeah, although, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as you can see, it's rotating clockwise. Uh, a little bit too much, but now I'm going to rotate anti-clockwise uh, and maybe that'll work as well. 
Um, oh, well, oh, well, okay. and the jump okay. is off course. And if I land the jump No, no, now, maybe do, do one more clockwise. Clockwise. Um, do one more clockwise. Well, I've already clicked one land. One more clockwise. Uh, I've already clicked okay. land. Okay, it's landed. Yeah, That's as it. you can be see, good, the, drone, good. the drone has landed and it didn't hit the table, so it didn't crash. Uh, all right, so that was essentially how that worked. Let's so. continue. So if we actually see this uh, also, we should have seen this also on the dashboard actually, mm -hmm. the, the actions and the last action obviously is that the drone is landed. Mm -hmm. So this was our part two. Um, to the drone series. The drone series. <laughs> yeah. So we're going we're gonna to stop here for a bit uh, and then we're going to start part three. Exactly. Explain so, uh, real quick what part three is. Exactly. So we'll see you next in part three. We're, at, we're going to actually show you how you can use the car dashboard example uh, in your video, uh, in your uh, the car dashboard example of the Watson conversation service in order to actually uh, control the drone and sort of modify that to become a drone dashboard. All right, so I guess we'll see you in the next part. And just in case you were wondering what our shirts oh, yeah. here mean, well, I mean, uh, find out what they mean and tweet it to us. Yeah, uh, tweet hint. to us the answer of the t-shirt. Exactly. Hint, it's related to this project. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in part three now. Cheers. Goodbye.